everybody. I'm Jamie Feldman, fashion and lifestyle editor at HuffPost. And I am so excited because today I am talking to Doubtson Cruz about her amazing work uh, with the Elephant Crisis Fund and her project, Not On My Planet. First, we're going to watch a quick video about some of her work so far. My favorite thing about elephants is that I can look at them for hours. I've spent many hours with my kids, with my children, where I actually noticed that my four-year-old son then would sit there for two hours fascinated. And I think it's because they have very similar emotions to us, and it's almost like looking at another family. They come from different evolutionary origin, but they fear, they hate, they love. I really just love being with them. I traveled to Africa, to Kenya, four years ago, and I met the most incredible family, the Douglas Hamiltons. And they run an amazing camp called the Elephant Watch Camp. And I learned there about the elephant crisis and that about 30,000 elephants are killed each year. That's about every 15 minutes, one elephant. And I was so shocked and devastated by those numbers. And I returned to New York and I was determined to make a difference. So we brainstormed and we came up with the Not On My Planet campaign. We would tie knots, post on social media, and raise awareness for the elephants. We're trying to tackle three major problems. We want to stop the killing, stop the trafficking, and stop the demand for ivory. And it's a fund where none of the money goes to overheads. It goes to the people at the sharp end of conservation who are really out there in the sticks risking their lives for elephants. I think luxury brands are actually tapping into the fact that customers want to buy luxury items and giving back at the same time. And this is something that Loewe understands and made a beautiful project out of it. The bag itself is done by, by this luxury fashion brand and then the beadwork by the Samburu women. The Samburu women who traditionally make amazing beadwork and have lived amongst elephants their whole lives. So this is why this collaboration has been very special. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Doubtson Crows. How are you? Thank you. Hello. Thanks for having me. Of course. I have to say, I was so excited to chat with you, but when I found out that I was going to be chatting with you about elephants, that excitement... It's unexpected. Quadruple. <laughs> no, I'm just so much more... I'm even that much more excited yeah. to chat with you about that. You know, this this project is so special, and obviously it's it's been hugely special to you. So can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved with the Elephant Crisis Fund and a little bit about your work? Yeah. Um, well, like you saw in the clip, I traveled to Africa, and I had no idea about the crisis. And it was my first encounter with wild elephants, and it was love at first sight. And learning about the devastating facts, I was determined to make a difference. And that's how we started Not On My Planet. So it was the love for elephants, the love for the Douglas Hamiltons, who started Save the Elephants and the Elephant Crisis Fund. And um, that's, that's how we made the difference. And I, I got my peers in fashion together, and um, we became a very strong force in, in ch making a reverse in what's, ha what's, what's happening in the moment. Yeah, I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, I've never met an elephant. I think a lot of people have never been really face to face with an elephant. Can you tell us a little bit about what was going through your mind the first time you came face to face with one of these majestic creatures? Yeah, um, well, I, th I think a lot of people among us have not met wild elephants and when I met a wild elephant for the first time, it was mesmerizing. Um, they're magnific magnificent. And I noticed that I could just sit there and watch them. And it's almost like looking at another family because they have complex emotions like us. They mourn when one of the family members dies. They have very strong um, family connections. They have the female, the matriarch, who is the leader of the group. and. It's just amazing to to witness, to just be there and sit there and, you know, watch another family. Mm -hmm. It's almost like what we love to do as young human beings is look at each other and each other's behaviors. So 
Absolutely. And judge. <laughs> and I read something or saw something about how elephants think that humans are cute the way that we think our our puppies or babies are cute. I saw that somewhere and it was like my favorite thing I'd ever seen. Yeah, they, I've I'd, I'd never had an ex aggressive experience. Of course, you have to be really careful uh, to be close to, to wild elephants. But we've had so many curious elephants around us in the car, you know, <laughs> putting their trunk. And there was one experience that I was sitting with my husband on the trunk of the car and uh, is that high trunk of the car? Trunk? Yeah, you got it. And that's those <laughs> elephant trunk. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, am I saying it right? <laughs> Not on the um, elephant we were, trunk, on the yeah, trunk of the but car. But then what happened was an elephant passed by and put the trunk close to us. And I, I reached out. And they always told me, don't do it. But it was my, I was like, this is my moment maybe to like very Instinct. gently... Yeah, and my husband, I could feel his heart <laughs> like beating on my chest. It was an incredible moment. And he was like, what What did you do? What was?" <laughs> and what happened? Nothing. Oh. He just passed and he was probably as curious as I was. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's amazing. Uh, you know, it's really inspiring to me that you are you have a huge platform. And it's not always the case that people with massive platforms are using those platforms to do good and to make a difference and to inspire their followers. So... Why was it so important for you to do something like this? Why did you feel so connected to this cause? Well, I think I've always looked at social media as um, w with a love-hate relationship. Um, and I think getting into this project, for, for me, was the first time that I thought I could use this as a tool for the better. And I've been looking at social media that way ever since. And I see the power that we have. We have a voice. Um, it's very easy to reach millions of people. And this is the only way we could have started this campaign. And mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful that my life, you know, has f it's almost feels like it has more purpose um, because of this campaign, because of what I can do for the elephants. Um, and yeah, because I would go and go to parties and, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it sometimes I love fashion, but it could also feel a little bit empty at the time. And now I know why I made all these connections and why... I I'm in this business is probably for this reason and it's it feels really good. That's amazing. And you know, speaking of that those connections and that kind of work that you've done, you have partnered with a lot of fashion brands. You've used this influence to, you know, expand and and grow the movement. So can you tell me a little bit about the uh collaboration with I'm going to say it correctly, Loewe? Yeah, Loewe. <laughs> um we started actually with with Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. This is uh one of the the That's brooches important. that they make. Um, um, Tiffany was the first company that, that was interested in collaborating with us. They really set the bar really high because they created a line called Save the Wild. And it's a line that all the profits go to the Elephant Crisis Fund. And it's, like I said in the, in the, in the little clip, it's, it's very smart that brands, luxury brands, tap into the fact that customers want to buy luxury items mm -hmm. and give back at the same time. And so Tiffany set the example, and then we worked with Holt Renfrew now uh, recently for the second time, and the department store, Canadian department yes. store, <laughs> yeah. And actually, Loewe is going to sell the bags um, oh, wow. through them. Um, there's there's only twenty, uh, fifteen of them, and uh, they're going to sell it um, through Holt Renfrew. So it's actually now a whole collaboration, and it's Porter Magazine who has been very supportive. Right. But um, I think Tiffany. Just by themselves, they raised $5 million for the Elephant wow. Prize Fund with this line. That's incredible. And yeah. And they already have the tools. They know how. They know one of the best, you know, how to make jewelry. Right. So um, I think if companies will start doing that, I think it will make a big change. Yeah. And, you know, with the jewelry, you, you're working with uh, women who are beating, right, for the, for the bag. So can you tell me about how that connection happened? Because that part... Just watching the clip, I was so inspired by this yeah. group of women. So can you tell me a little bit about that? how that connection happened? Yeah, these are women from the Samburu Trust that um, that live in Samburu and that have been beating their whole lives. It's a tradition that they've been doing. And now they've um, put the beadwork on the bags. And this way you support also uh, the Elephant Crisis Fund, but also the, the, the women from the Samburu Trust who have been living amongst elephants for f their whole lives mm -hmm. and also their uh, their communities so i think it it works hand in hand and 
it um yeah and it's so beautiful so with the first back they they did they had the beat work but also the um, um, I don't know the, the things that make the sound. Oh, uh, bells! No. Yeah, and yeah. and it's when the samburu wear it, it's amazing because they pass by and you hear it, and so when you carry the bag, it's almost like it takes you back. It takes me back to when I'm in samburu, right, uh, with the local people, and it's 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 incredible. That's amazing. Well, yeah. it's really exciting. I'm really excited to see that that launch. Is it, did it launch already or not yet? It's the second bag collection launches in October. Okay, exciting. So. You know, I think that obviously the elephant crisis is something that maybe a lot of people are aware of, but maybe they're not exactly sure what it actually is or what money that you're raising actually helps do. Yeah. So all the money that you're raising through these collaborations and through the organization and through the social media campaign, what what does that money do to help elephant conservation? Well, right now, if we're, if we're not doing anything, we're losing elephants and... Elephants um, are the architectures of the African landscape. It's because of them, um, you know, the, the the breaking down of the trees, the the dung. Mm -hmm. It's it's they are part of that ecosystem, and they have such a big habitat. So if you protect elephants, you protect the whole ecosystem. And if we don't do anything, they will disappear. And what the Elephant Crisis Fund does, um, well, first of all, the Elephant Crisis Fund is uh, created by Save the Elephants and the Wildlife Conservation Network, supported by the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. And all the money goes overhead. It goes, nothing goes nothing overhead. overhead. Sorry. <laughs> all the money goes overhead. <laughs> all the money you're giving goes Just <laughs> rewind a minute. <laughs> oh all your God. money goes to the cost of running the, the organization. It goes directly to the ground where it's needed most. We're going to be on... Uh, tabloid. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> Us weekly. <laughs> exit out. Exit out. <laughs> All the money goes directly to the organization. Yes. And this is what I what I think is a great example. It's because it's created by two or two existing organizations, and what they do with the money is they use it for 24 hour protection of the big tuskers, where there's only a few left. Um, uh, the forest elephants, in the example, for example, in the Congo, are even worse. They're almost they're there's only a few of them left. And so they have sometimes 24-hour protection, military protection. They use it for drones, for trucks, um, for sniffer dogs um, to, to get the poachers. Wow. And, um, yeah. It's a massive, it's, massive operation. Yeah. So when I started this, I thought, oh, we're just going to let everyone know this is... It's, to me, disgusting that this is happening, that... Mm -hmm. Ivory is used as a luxury item in this day and age, and we can turn this around easily, but it's way more complex than, than what I thought, and it's very political as well with the demand for ivory in some, some countries, and um, there's so much more work to do. And um, to this day, we've raised almost $8.8 .8 million. Wow. Let's like in three years. A round of applause for that, yeah. I think. <clears throat> And um, hopefully, with the collaboration of Holt Renfrew, we'll cross the nine million mark. Um, so we're crossing fingers. Cross everyone, yeah. cross your fingers for us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> um, so you've also done some work. I know you've done some work with HIV and AIDS research, and mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering how you go about choosing the charities or the causes that you care about and and want to commit your time to. Yeah, it's, well, it's impossible to do everything. And, uh, you know, um, I think if everyone does their share, and like you said, there's so many people with um, a really great reach on social media or with uh, a lot of money that can do, that can really make a difference. And I hope that I can be an example of what we can do and the power we have um, in changing the world. And um, so, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's why I'm doing this is because I'm doing this because I fell in love with elephants and elephant conversation with the family that's behind it, with the Samburu, with the locals. And I, I had to choose because of time. You know, okay. I wish I could do it all. Do it all, yeah. But we cannot do it all. And I think if each of us chooses their passion, um, then we can make a very big difference. And also commit to something that already exists because there's so many organizations and I've seen so much competition also in, in conservation that is really upsetting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, can I you didn't tell know me that a little existed? bit about that? Because I don't even, I yeah. didn't know that either. Yeah, that exists. There's a lot of competition. And 
Um, so I think there's already so many organizations out there. Um, so commit to something that you feel passionate about and you can, you know, every little thing helps. Every little bit of time that you spend or amount of money, it doesn't matter, but every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. You recently, I saw um, on your Instagram, I was looking at your Instagram, I have to admit to you, and um, uh, you wrote that n Not On My Planet changed, completely changed your perspective. Mm -hmm. how, how did it do that? Well, Not On My Planet changed my, uh, l like I, I think I said, um, it, changed, it changed a lot for me because it gave my job a purpose. Um, I never, I always try to figure out why you know, why am I traveling the world and selling clothes? Like what mm -hmm. for me there was something missing in my, you know, in my in my soul. Like I wanted to have more of a purpose. And I felt like doing this and being part of Not on My Planet has made that difference. And um teaching my kids, you know, what they can do because they're the new generation and I can see, you know, how they how easy it is for them to be on the phones and the social media and I want them I want to teach them how to use it because it's a tool that we need to use for good. I think it's given to us for a reason and um you know to be more transparent um um uh, and to to change for the better. Yeah, I want to ask a little bit about your kids because I know you said that in the clip your son you were so taken by your son kind of being so fascinated with the elephant. So what are some ways that you have, are they involved and what are some ways that that you would like them to be involved or or what have you seen from their interaction, just watching you yeah. be so so much a part of it? Um, well, they're not involved in that way, and I I also want them to find their own, you know, way in um, in where they feel passionate about. And what I do a lot of the time is take them um, to the uh, north of Holland, where my mom still has a backyard with with the vegetable garden, and that's one of my biggest dreams to have because. It's the most fulfilling thing in life is to grow your own vegetables and know where they come from. Um, and I think kids in this day and age and also in cities are so far removed from nature. And um, I'm a city kid. And they're so losing. I can to that. <laughs> yeah, you're a city kid. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying all kids. I'm just saying that I think when you lose the connection with nature, it's it's dangerous because the empathy, you lose the empathy and you lose the import you, you don't see the importance of why we need to take care of mother earth mm -hmm. so bring them in touch with with nature take them on trips to africa that's what i do and you know my my daughter she she knows she says mommy your favorite animal is elephants right <laughs> you know so she she knows but i think traveling opening up to different cultures make them open minded is very important because all we do now is is it's 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 insane that with with the social media we have, you would think everyone would think bigger and respect each other. But mm -hmm. what we do more and more is is enclose and right. not see the bigger picture. And I think this is what we need to change. And hopefully the new generation will do. Absolutely. Agreed. Um, do you interact with people who not defend the practice, but who are maybe question why this is the cause or... Um, not maybe not see, or has ever challenged you on why this is so important to you, and if so, what do you say to them? Oh yeah, like you know, people have asked me uh, why elephants, and then I explain to them that it's it's a love I cannot explain. I can tell you, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like why are you married to your husband? You know, like <laughs> is <laughs> I love elephants, um, um, and also you know my my way of life. I travel. I um, I go in a plane. I'm not a saint. Um, I'm not a vegan yet, but, um, you know, I wear uh, leather. Um, so I'm and I'm also honest about it, but I don't think you can be... Um, you know, I can also do this because I have a platform that I have, and that's because of the fashion industry. Right. So, you know, I cannot fight that too much, but I can open the conversation, be part of the conversation, and slowly we can change. And I think it's happening. And that's our goal, not on my planet. Like my co-founders, David Benouvry and Trish Goff, the, the three of us together, we want the fashion world to be part of the change mm -hmm. and be more aware of what's going on in the world and that we need to take care of 
animals and for us elephants. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it's also the fashion industry who used ivory back in the day. And we, you know, we are part of making that a luxury item. That's the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. But we need to change things around and we take responsibility for that. And this is why we're here. I think that's really inspiring because I don't, I think there's a sometimes a lack of transparency, a lack of accountability, especially in fashion and in any industry and just kind of being like, okay, this was something that what existed, how can we change it and how can we move forward? I'm curious if you have any uh, tips or, or um, thoughts on how somebody who might not be in a position to donate might be able to help get involved or uh, yeah, just to help get involved. Well, to get involved with Not On My Planet is w what we love is our initial campaign was to tie knots. Tie knots uh, posted on social media and raise awareness. And I think there's still a lot of people who are not aware of the elephant crisis. And um, I think awareness is one of the biggest steps. We need money, but if you don't have it, um, it's, it's, it's all about raising awareness. So please tie knots and post them on social media and use the hashtag not on my planet. And this way we can be an army, you know, on, on social media for, for the to fight for the better and for actually giving elephants a second chance. Yeah, so that's our everyone's homework assignment. We're all gonna go home and everyone tie, a, tie knot a knot and, and go on Instagram and hashtag not on my planet. Well we have some uh, audience questions. We have two audience questions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it to the first one. Hi. Hi. Um, I wanted to um, ask it, what more can the fashion industry do to help with the elephants? Uh, well, we hope there will be more collaborations. Um, the fashion industry can do, first of all, a lot more for the environment to leave less of a, 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 foot, a carbon footprint. And this is changing also, but we cannot change overnight. Um, but I think for the elephants, uh, hopefully there will be more brands that want to work with us. And um, yeah, I th so I think hopefully there will be more brands that take the example of Tiffany and Loewe and Holt Renfrew to work with us and make a collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We have one more. Hi, we have an online question from our site, buildseries.com. Uh, somebody wants to know what was the most surprising fact about elephants that you learned while being able to Sorry? work on this? The most surprising fact about elephants that you learned? Um, I did. I really. The, what I love most about elephants, I think, is is how smart they are and how they. There is a matriarch. There is a female leader, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just takes advice from her, and she's she's the boss. And I I really like that fact. We can, <laughs> we can learn from from elephants. Bossy ladies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love a bossy lady. Yeah. Well, Dowson, thank you so much for coming and chatting with us. And uh, is there a website or somewhere where we can go just to get more information? Yeah, I think the best way. I mean, look look up not on my planet. But I think uh, the Elephant Crisis Fund has a lot of information on where the money is going if you're donating, and what they're doing. Awesome. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks everybody. Thank you.